I'm Courtney Rogers, and this is The Pricing on the Cake. Welcome to episode 14 of The Pricing on the Cake, the podcast that's all about growing a profitable business confidently. If you're a woman with a small business and you want to grow your business into something profitable and exciting so that you can reach your goals, then this is the show for you. On today's episode, I'm going to be sharing a bit of a story with you. Uh, And this is also coming off the back of a blog that I'm going to publish or have published, depending on the timing of this podcast, uh, based on a friend of mine who went out for lunch recently. So let me share the story with you. I was on the phone to my friend. He was going out to lunch and first he went to Subway. So normally when he's going out to lunch, he'll normally either go to a kebab shop or Subway. Subway is very close to his house. The kebab shop is not, uh, but depends on how he's feeling on the day. So he goes down to the Subway store and he notices that the price has increased. Interesting. And he did some quick math in his head and he realized that for the new Subway price, He could go to the kebab shop instead, get a kebab and chips and a drink for the same price. And so in his head, a few different things happen. Number one, his brain decided to make a pricing review, right? Anytime you uh, change your prices, your customers will review the decision to buy from you and they will review and think to themselves, do I want to buy from this person again? right? Because the price change will make them remake that decision. They'll make them reevaluate. Do I want to spend this money? Do I think it's valuable? Do I think it's worth it? Right? The other thing that happened as well is he decided what's more important to me right now. Is it more important for me to be convenient and not have to walk all the way to the kebab shop? So I just buy a subway or is it more important that I get more value for my money? And so I will walk over to the kebab shop and feel like I get more for my money. Now, another really thing that's happening here is the fact that my friend is demonstrating price sensitivity, right? So this is a phenomenon where a customer will care more about the price of a product or service than about the value that they get from that product or service, right? You see this all the time with, you know, people who uh, do bargain shops or buy things on sale or prefer, always prefer the cheap option. We all know that person, right? And there's nothing wrong with this at all. Some people are price sensitive and that's okay. Um, And this is the case for my friend as well. In that moment for him, you know, money and value was the priority for him. He wanted to save his money. He wanted to feel like he was getting more for his money. He was price sensitive. And that's why he went with the other option instead, even though he was already at Subway. Now, the thing that I want to bring your attention to is the fact that your customers make this decision every time they see your pricing every time you change your pricing. So if you are going to change your prices, you need to make sure that you're doing it thoughtfully and strategically, right? The way that Subway brought in their price change wasn't by giving any notice. They didn't warn customers that a price change was coming. They didn't offer any options. It was just sprung on customers. This is one of the worst ways that you can bring on a price change in your business, right? It's to just spring it on customers without any notice without any communication at all and when you think about it if you're trying to make a relationship between yourself and your customers right if you had a relationship with someone and they just change some aspect of your relationship without communicating that with you you'd be pretty upset and rightfully so and so the same thing happens here that's why a lot of businesses will get a lot of flack a lot of negative feedback for the price changes that they do without any notice without any communication there are a lot of big brands who have made this mistake before as well uh there was a a big and very controversial price increase that netflix did where overnight they just raised their prices by 25% or something like that. And they had enormous churn the following week. A lot of people left. A lot of people were unhappy and rightfully so. And Netflix learned from that. The next time they did it, what they did instead was they emailed all of their customers and they said, hey, we're raising our prices next week, but you are not going to get the new price for another year. Only new customers will have to pay pay the new higher price. We're going to email you in 11 months time to remind you of this. And the reason we're giving this to you is to say thank you for your loyalty and to thank you for being a customer of Netflix. And sure enough, 11 months later, Netflix emailed said, hey, it's us. Remember how that email we sent to you 11 months ago, we said that we were going to increase our price, but we didn't put it on you. And we said we wait a year, 
while we're here, the price is now increasing. We're just letting you know. The results from this price increase, so much better. So the lessons here, give as much notice as you can when you're doing a price increase. Find a way to make it a positive thing for your customers. Extend it, adjust it for them, give them options, right? Communicate it in a way that lets them know that this is for them in some way, right? If you talk about the reason why there's an adjustment to the price being uh, to do with creating better quality services or providing more capacity or, you know, uh, providing better insights and things like that, you need it to make sense for your customers in order for them to say yes. If your price changes and your pricing doesn't make sense to your customers, they will say no. And the other thing with that too is that it's okay. If you're changing your prices and you're increasing them, you need to be okay with a no. You need to be okay with the idea of someone coming back to you and saying, no, I can't uh, pay that. I, that's too expensive for me. You need to be okay with saying, okay, no problem. Because when you honor your boundaries and your standards, you are teaching your audience and your potential customers to do the same thing. And it is so important that you do that. You would never dishonor the boundaries of your best friend. So don't do it to yourself. How you treat yourself and how you treat your time and how you view and treat and talk about the value you give to people is how your customers will then treat you. It's how they'll talk about you right you set the standard and you set the tone for what customers should expect from you and how they should treat you they take that from you okay it's really really important that you keep this in mind that is all from me today i hope that was helpful if you have any takeaways from this please let me know in a comment or message me on facebook don't forget too that you can get more free pricing marketing and sales resources in my group the pricing on the cake on facebook if you do want to reach out to me you can email me anytime courtney at courtneydegan.com until next time i'll see you then bye bye